the soul from the blue star traveled through time and was reborn into a newly broken black dragon. The bad news is that black dragon lady has been targeted by the kingdom and sent out a dragon slaying army. The good news is that it awakens a talent that comes from the passive fear of the void in lol characters. The Feast Feast Transforming ingested substances into body growth, thereby increasing body strength and size. When stacked with 10, 100, 10,000, and 100,000 layers of feasts, a terrifying black dragon that feeds on stars and planes was born. Asterisk Wu Di. I'm a damn foodie. Keywords of the novel. This giant dragon is too powerful. No pop-ups, this giant dragon is too powerful. Download the complete TXT collection, this dragon is too powerful. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Birth and Feast. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Birth and Feast in a huge nest that is dark, damp, cold, and emitting a smell of decay. A black dragon egg that is half human tall clicked. Eggshell rupture. A black juvenile dragon the size of a horse dog emerged from it. The young dragon was sticky all over, with a pair of short wings sticking soft against its back. Compared to its body, the large dragon brain bag looked silly. When Li Ba opened his eyes, a huge skull-like head appeared in front of him. Li Ba looked at the towering beast in front of him and was startled, but his instincts drove him to quickly calm down. Looking at my own body again, because it had just broken through, it still appeared to have some tender black scales, and there was still a sticky layer of eggshell on the scales. Udi Tangrian Diablo Atox Mephist Sigmund, Li Ba instinctively shouted out the name. The true name of the dragon. After shouting out these long names, Li Ba came to his senses. He was reincarnated and became a black dragon. A black dragon of a multicolored dragon in a multiverse world. So Li Ba looked down at the black giant beast that was looking down at it. This is its black dragon mother. For a moment, Li Ba was filled with mixed emotions and mixed emotions. However, recalling the various pains of his life, Li Ba gradually accepted his current identity. The giant dragon at the top of the predator has a long lifespan, wielding unparalleled power and magic. It's not better than being an ordinary person. Li Ba Wu realized. So, in the future, he will call it Udi. Udi Sigmund. As for the name Li Ba from his past life, it is still shrouded in dust in memory. Liana looked down at her newly born silly son, and the cold expression in her vertical dark yellow dragon pupils eased slightly as she heard the other person shout out the true name of the dragon. It's better not to be a lowly dragon beast. She gave birth to three dragon eggs in total, and now one of them has broken its shell and become a real dragon. Even if the other two dragon eggs are dragon beasts, it doesn't matter. Anyway, she can be considered as having an explanation for the great five-colored dragon mother Tiamat. For the growth of the dragon race, both the five-colored dragon mother Tiamat and the platinum dragon god Bahamut have certain constraints on the reproduction of multiverse true dragons. Especially the chaotic and evil five-colored dragon clan, if not restrained, most of the five-colored dragons will not care about the survival of their offspring. For example, flying in the sky directly lays dragon eggs. As for where the dragon eggs will fall, who cares? Under Udi's gaze, Black Dragon Mother directly pulled out a huge shark-like corpse from the nearby mud with her dragon claws. There are traces of acid corrosion on the body, and on the decaying flesh of the wound, there are densely packed creatures like maggots wriggling. Wu Di learned from the inheritance of dragons that among the five colored dragons, the breath of the red dragon is flames, the breath of the blue dragon is lightning, the breath of the green dragon is poisonous mist, and the fourth ranked black dragon's breath is acid. As for the weakest white dragon, breathing is naturally frost. The five colored dragon has different preferences for food, among which the black dragon likes to corrode its prey with its own acid. The dragon produces carrion, which is one of the favorite foods of the vast majority of black dragons. 
watching the decaying shark on the ground covered in maggots, Wu Di realized that this was the first meal that Black Dragon Mother had given her newborn self. Not bad. At least not to start with dirt. Some lazy dragon women don't even know how to prepare their own child's first meal. Anyway, for dragons, even if they eat dirt, they can survive and grow up. Woody felt relieved that he wasn't the worst start to the dragon game, but lowered his head and started eating his eggshell. The first true meal for newborn dragons is often their own eggshells. The eggshell of a giant dragon contains rich trace elements. When a newborn dragon eats the eggshell, its soft and collapsed scales can quickly harden and have initial combat power. Click, click, click well, spicy potato chip flavor, delicious. Black Dragon Mother watched her silly son eagerly eating her eggshell, feeling bored as she turned her massive body towards the dragon's nest deep in the cave. Finally, she curled up and lay down in the nest covered in a layer of treasure, comfortably closing her dragon's eyes and falling asleep. If it weren't for sensing that Udi had broken out of her shell, the Black Dragon Mother, who had laid her first egg, would have been curious to come over and see what it looked like. At this moment, it was still asleep. For top dot level magical creatures like dragons, as long as they eat and sleep, they can constantly become stronger, so the vast majority of dragons like black dragon goddess enjoy sleeping. Isn't it a happy thing to wake up from sleep and realize that I have become a little stronger again? Ignoring the black dragon mother who had fallen into a deep sleep after leaving, Wu Di was already stunned at the moment. In front of it, a few lines of small characters slowly appeared. Booty. Biological level 1, occupation level none. Body length 2.4 m, vitality. 2.5, talent feast has been activated, current level of feast. 0, banquet level 1 progress. 5%, what is this? After being stunned for a moment, Wu Di carefully sensed the purpose of this talent and immediately became ecstatic. Isn't this the passive talent of Kogas in the Void Fear Feast? Of course, it is somewhat different from the Void Fear Feast talent in the game. Perhaps because this is the real world, or perhaps due to race reasons, the Feast talent of Void Fear Kogas has been transformed into a growth energy that can convert the consumed material into one's own body, thereby increasing the strength and size of one's own body. And the stacking level of talent in the feast is unlimited. Wu Di grinned and revealed his slightly tender dragon teeth, looking down at the unfinished eggshell. I'm just eating. The sound of clicking food echoed, accompanied by the progress of the first level feast constantly improving. 5% 8% 15% After finishing all the eggshells, the progress of the first layer feast reached 23%. Udi's gaze turned to the huge decaying shark not far away. Based on the knowledge gained from the inheritance of the dragon, it is known that this is the favorite food of the black dragon, the swamp magic shark. Adult swamp magic shark creatures can reach level 5 and grow up to 7 meters in length, already belonging to the category of intermediate monsters. Generally speaking, only black dragons who have reached the juvenile dragon stage have the ability to hunt monsters at this level, which is far beyond what Udi, who is only a young dragon, can challenge today. Smelling the meat aroma emanating from the swamp magic shark in front of him, Udi could no longer bear the hunger of his body. He opened his dragon mouth, revealing his short and sharp teeth, and fiercely bit the corroded wound of the swamp magic shark. Explosive slurry delicious. Satisfy. Delicious rotten flesh mixed with plump maggots creates a special delicacy. No wonder Black Dragon likes to eat this disgusting looking food. A thought flashed through Udi's mind. Then, all the thoughts turned into eating and eating. Once the feast is opened, the infinite hunger from the depths of Udi's body and soul will gradually overwhelm its rationality, and it will not return until the feast is over. In the vast dark and damp nest, there echoed the terrifying tearing, swallowing, and chewing sounds of Udi. Tell me about the talent settings for this book's feast. The feast effect in the game is Consumption 100 mana, greedily devouring an enemy, Dealing 300 475 650, 
plus 0.15 extra health, plus 0.5 AP, real damage or 1000, plus 0.15 extra health, plus 0.5 AP, real damage to monsters and minions. If Kogas kills enemy units with Feast, he will gain a layer of Feast effects, each of which will increase his body size and provide a maximum health bonus of 80-120-160. You can only obtain a total of 6 effects by devouring minions and non-epic wild monsters. This book is about talent magic modification, after all, one is a game and the other is a fantasy world. After Modification No matter what you swallow, you can stack the feast, and there is no limit to the number of layers of the feast. Another thing is that the feast effect no longer has a fixed increase in how much health, but instead is reinforced proportionally based on the current body foundation. The amount of reinforcement is related to the quality of the food you swallow, and the increase in body type is also unlimited. The restriction is a cooling time of 30 days. Some book enthusiasts think it's too long, but I set it based on the lifespan of dragons, and I don't want to write about maps that change after a few years or decades. The lifespan of dragons is generally several thousand years, and after becoming legendary, it will increase significantly. A year stacked with 12 layers of feasts, a thousand years is 12,000 layers, and 10,000 years is 120,000 layers. I am writing this book to write an epic dragon text, experiencing a long history in timeline. If you feel that it doesn't suit your taste, you can also write your favorite dragon script like me. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Long D and Long May. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Long D and Long May When Udi's rationality returned, most of the flesh and blood of the seven-meter-long swamp magic shark in front of him disappeared, and the white and dense fish bones highlighted Udi's terrifying appetite. Although the young dragon is very edible, it also depends on what food it corresponds to. The energy contained in the blood and flesh of this intermediate demon, the swamp magic shark, far exceeds that of ordinary wild beasts. Therefore, Udi's ability to eat most of the swamp magic shark's food in one breath is already terrifying for a newborn dragon. But at this moment, Udi's thoughts are not on this side. When the banquet progressed to 100%, Udi entered a pitch black space. In this pitch black space, he watched helplessly as his body became stronger, his body gradually grew larger, and the density of muscles and bones increased. Udi found that he could transform his body that was being strengthened for example, by making his short wings wider, thicker, and larger. But he didn't move. Because of the fear of the void, Kogaza's feast talent will automatically push its body towards the most perfect transformation. A day passed, and the transformation of her body came to an end. Udi woke up in the real world. It looks at its own body at this moment. The original body length of 2.4 meters has now increased to 2.9 meters. It has grown by half a meter. Previously, there were still some immature scales and short wings, but now the scales are pitch black and smooth, and even thicker, indicating a significant increase in defense. And the wingspan of the wings has become even larger, and the skeleton membrane wings have become wider and thicker. My body has become much stronger, Wu Di felt delighted in his heart. It looks at its current panel. Wu Di. Biological level 1 level 2, no occupational level. Body length 2.4 m 2.9 m, vitality. 2.5 3.5, current number of banquet floors. 1 floor, banquet cooldown time. 30 days, firstly, the vitality has increased from 2.5 to 3.5. Vitality represents the comprehensive strength of the body and the energy level of the living body. The higher the vitality, the stronger the strength. Many creatures with weak bloodlines, such as humans, if they can increase their vitality by a certain amount, not only will their strength increase, but their lifespan will also be improved. For Woody, who is a giant dragon, this increase in vitality can only bring about an increase in strength, and cannot increase its lifespan limit. This is because the bloodline potential of dragons is very strong. 
For humans, increasing one's vitality may be equivalent to breaking one's own bloodline limitations, but for dragons, especially those in the embryonic stage, not to mention increasing one's vitality by 10 points, it is far from reaching the upper limit of their bloodline. That is to say, when my vitality reaches the limit of my black dragon bloodline, and then the layers of the feast are stacked, my lifespan will also be extended to a certain extent. Wu Di felt a little excited in his heart. The lifespan of the giant dragon was already very long, even the white dragon ranked last among the five colored evil dragons had a lifespan of about 2000 years. If you step into the legendary level, your lifespan can be greatly increased. And what about humans? Most professions among human powerhouses, even if they reach the legendary level, have a lifespan of only 7 to 800 years. Only Fei and some powerful special professions can have a lifespan of over a thousand years or even more after reaching the legendary level. But compared to the newly born baby dragon, it is still slightly inferior in essence. This is the fundamental difference in bloodline. In addition to vitality, Budi also observed that his biological level had increased, from the original level 1 to level 2. In the inheritance of the dragon, the interpretation of biological levels is very detailed. Biological level refers to the innate power level possessed by extraordinary creatures. Biological level will increase as extraordinary creatures grow, such as Udi. Even without the talent of banquet, as a black dragon, its biological level will continue to increase over time, from the first level of birth to the nineteenth level. As for level twenty, it belongs to the legendary field. Legends, even for top-dot-level magical creatures like dragons, are a difficult threshold that only the best can step into. However, as both five-colored evil dragons, the probability and difficulty of red dragon and white dragon entering the legend cannot be compared. The former, with just a little effort, has a high possibility of entering the legend in the old dragon stage, while the latter, even in the extremely old age stage, naturally grows to its peak in strength and has a low probability of breaking through the legend. Udi collected the chaotic thoughts in his mind and turned his gaze to the last line of font on the panel. Banquet cooldown time. Thirty days, there's still a cooldown time. Udi was a bit unhappy. However, the unpleasant emotions are only fleeting. After all, a month's cooling time may be a bit long for humans, but for dragons, it basically passes as soon as they open and close their eyes. A month stacked with a feast, a year is twelve layers, which is enough to distance me from other dragons, Booty thought to himself. After thinking a lot more, Booty felt a bit bored. It looked around and then casually found a corner not far from the mud, lying down. Its head was connected to its short and thick tail, forming a black disc and it fell asleep. The young dragon is already drowsy, and through deep sleep, its body can grow faster. Five days have passed in a blink of an eye. Udi, who had just woken up from his slumber, was slowly eating the unfinished swamp magic shark. Five days have passed, and in the dark and damp cave, this swamp magic shark has rotted even more thoroughly. Well, there are also more explosive maggots. Similarly, the taste has become even more delicious. Udi is psychologically resistant, but her body is extremely enjoying it, feeling uncomfortable and happy. Ha! Huh. Wu Di heard some noise coming from not far away and turned his head to look at the place where the sound source was coming from. It turns out to be those two dragon eggs that have not yet broken their shells. Wu Di suddenly realized. Calculate the time, it's almost there. Generally, dragon eggs laid by dragon mothers are usually hatched at the same time period, with no difference of ten days between the beginning and end. The evolution of the Udi feast took a day and then fell asleep for five days. Today is already the seventh day of its birth. Under Udi's curious gaze, two black dragon eggs broke open one after another, and a huge, silly black head protruded from inside. Heloise Sigmund the newborn mother dragon spoke the language of a young dragon. Brooke Sigmund. Well, this is a little male dragon. After the newborn Long Mei and Long Di finished shouting at each other's throats, 
they stared with clear eyes and foolishly looked for their own long nyang. Hmm. Where is our dragon mother? Long Mei and Long Di's gaze focused on Wu Di. Where's the mother? Heloise asked without hesitation. Wu Di raised an eyebrow, Long has an eyebrow, which is the orbital bone, feeling a bit displeased in his heart. The newly born girl has a very aggressive tone. Wu Di turned around, turned his butt towards them, and continued to eat the delicious swamp magic shark on the ground. The sound of smashing is loud. Very hooked. Stop, this is the food my mother left for me. Heloise saw that Udi didn't respond, but there was no need for Udi to respond. She quickly sensed the huge aura deep inside the nest, feeling relieved. At the same time, she followed Udi's eating movements and saw the remains of the swamp magic shark on the ground. She became anxious and broke free from the dragon egg bondage on her lower body, rushing out. And the dragon brother Brook, who was noticeably slow to react, quickly broke free from the constraints of the dragon egg and followed Heloise forward and backward towards Udi. While rushing and shouting loudly, wait for me, this is also my part. Two little dragons, each over two meters long, rushed forward and backward towards Udi, who slowly lifted his head. First, he swept the flying dragon sister Heloise with his tail, and then punched the dragon brother Brook back twice. Swamp Magic Shark, Guarded by Me, Booty. Currently, Publicly Available Intelligence. Asterisk Swamp Magic Shark Asterisk Adult Organisms reach level 5 and generally have a body length between 6.5 and 8 meters. The spell-like abilities they can awaken are Metal Sawtooth, Ordinary Individuals, and Flow Marsh Control, Excellent Individuals, likes to survive in areas such as freshwater and swamps, has a murderous personality, and even when full, will slaughter weak creatures for pleasure. This powerful creature has a solitary nature. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Big Brother's Might You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Big Brother's Might The Dragon Sister Heloise and the Dragon Brother Brook who were knocked away, shook their slightly dizzy heads and then looked at Woody together, their eyes full of malice. Woody swallowed the flesh and blood in his mouth and slowly stood up. Hugging his front chest with both claws, he extended his left claw with a dragon finger, and his dragon face contemptuously hooked his younger brother and sister. Although Heloise and Brooke didn't understand what this gesture was called, the strong mockery was understood by the two little dragons, and their blood rushed up to their heads, roaring and rushing towards Udi. In Udi's eyes, the sprinting speed of the two little dragons, comparable to that of a cheetah, was slow in his eyes. Taking a slight step to the left, the body dodged Heloise's collision, and the agile dragon tail behind slapped its dragon head, causing Heloise to roll and crash several times into the mud. At the moment when Udi used his dragon tail to pull Heloise into the mud, a heavy left hook punch fiercely lifted Brook, who was attacking with his head hammer, up half a meter in the air, and then fell heavily to the ground, convulsing twice. Do you dare to provoke your big brother with such strength? Udi looked at Heloise floating in the mud, burying her head in the mud and pretending to be unconscious, as well as Brook, who was lying on the ground with his belly exposed. He rolled his eyes and pretended not to hear him, sneered on the surface, but felt very happy in his heart. If he had never had a feast and was only born five days early, then he would definitely not be a match for the two little dragons working together. But there is no if. He just hung up and what happened? A few minutes later. The two little dragons, Heloise and Brooke, with bruised noses and swollen faces, raised their buttocks and lifted their largest eggshell with their claws, shouting in humiliation in their mouths, Big Brother, Please enjoy our eggshells. Times two Wu Di looked at Long Di and Long Mei who had finally obeyed with satisfaction, then took two pieces of eggshells and stuffed them into his mouth, eating them with a click. Heloise's is tomato-flavored potato chips, not bad. Brooks is chocolate chips. It's weird. After tasting the apology and compensation gift eggshell from Long Di and Long Mei, Wu Di gave a review. Not as strong as his eggshell. Big brother, can we start eating now? 
Brooke carefully looked at the dragon face enjoying Udi, greedily looking at his own eggshell next to him, his stomach growling with hunger. Heloise on the side didn't speak, but she also looked at Udi with a hopeful expression on her face. Since their birth, both of them have been beaten hard by Udi, but during this time, they have not eaten any food and have long lost their strength. If it weren't for that, the two of them wouldn't easily admit it and even offered their largest piece of eggshell to the bastard Udi. This can be considered a top-dot-level humiliation. Hmm, let's eat. Udi waved his hand casually and leisurely returned to the muddy spot where he first started sleeping. I have eaten enough and completed my exercise after meals, so I can sleep now. After Udi closed his eyes and fell asleep, the two little dragons, Heloise and Brooke, exchanged a glance at each other, and their originally humble gaze gradually became fierce. Immediately after, the two little dragons coincidentally started eating their eggshells fiercely. Damn Woody, when I finish eating, I will trample on you hard and trample on you. Heloise, the little mother dragon, held a deep grudge and attributed her inability to defeat Woody to not eating the eggshell. For newborn dragons, the dragon egg shell can provide a small transformation, resulting in a significant increase in the hardness of their dragon scales. Udi is very strong. After I finish eating the eggshell, I will eat the swamp magic shark. After my body develops once, I will challenge again next time. Prove that I am the strongest. This was Brooke's idea, as he quickly ate the eggshell and greedily looked at the wreckage of the swamp magic shark in the distance. The swamp magic shark was eaten more than half by Udi during his first feast, and when he woke up from his slumber, he ate a lot more. However, this adult swamp magic shark is over 7 meters long and weighs nearly 4 tons. Today, the remaining flesh and blood still weigh more than half a ton. It's completely enough for a newborn baby dragon to eat. Of course, if it's too Brooke secretly glanced at his sister Heloise, who was buried in her stomach next to her, and observed her body shape. The courage he had lost from Brother Woody suddenly returned to him. I can't beat Brother Woody, can't I still beat you? Heloise, who was devouring her eggshell, keenly noticed her brother Brooke's malicious gaze and immediately grinned at him. Just Brooke, can't beat this bastard Udi, can't you? The two young dragons began to compete. After quickly finishing the eggshells, Chi Chi rushed towards the remains of the swamp magic shark. You took a bite, you squeezed me, I squeezed you. Wu Di was awakened by the noise they made, opened his dragon eyes, and looked at his foolish dragon brother and sister with a somewhat dissatisfied roar. The bodies of the two young dragons fighting over food suddenly stiffened. If you keep making noise, don't eat anymore. Wu Di snorted coldly. Heloise and Brooke exchanged a glance, reluctantly stopping the fight and starting to eat honestly. Although Heloise had just thought of going to teach the bastard Woody a lesson after eating the eggshell, when Woody let out a cold snort, her body suddenly showed the pain and fear that Woody had caused earlier. Wait next time, Heloise swore fiercely in her heart. As for Brooke, he is well aware of the strength gap between himself and brother Yudi, so he does not intend to challenge Yudi when his strength is insufficient. Seeing that the younger brothers and sisters were no longer making any noise, Wu Di was satisfied and closed her eyes. She coiled herself in a circle and fell into a deep sleep. There is nothing to do during the embryonic dragon period, so it's better to sleep. Sleeping can help the body grow and become stronger faster. At the core of the dragon's nest deep in the cave, the black dragon mother lying on the treasure witnessed this farce and slowly closed her eyes, falling into a deep sleep. Although it was surprising that all three of her eggs had hatched into a true dragon, the black dragon mother only wanted to sleep at this moment. Children or something, where is sleep important? If it weren't for thinking that if a dragon beast were born, it would need to be thrown away immediately, and she wouldn't even want to move it. Time flies, twenty days have passed in the blink of an eye. Twenty-seven days have passed since the birth of Udi, and less than three days are left until the next feast begins. Located in the underground cave dragons nest hundreds of meters below the decaying swamp. The second dragon war has begun. Brooke, 
whose body had grown slightly compared to half a month ago, roared and charged towards Yudi. Udi, the strongest one is me. Wu Di, who had grown to three meters in length, grinned with a cold dragon tooth and said with a faint sneer, Brooke, let me teach you again what big brother's authority cannot be provoked means. Behind Udi, Heloise lurked maliciously, attempting to launch a surprise attack after Udi exposed her vulnerability under Brooke's attack. In order to gain more ownership of food and improve their status in the dragon's nest, the two young dragons discussed, fought, and ultimately decided unanimously. They will fight against Udi together. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Second Feast You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Second Feast Yudalong's claws rested on Brook's charging head hammer, and he felt Heloise launch a surprise attack from behind, expressionless. The slender tail behind the buttocks flexibly and fiercely struck the cheek of the rushing Heloosaurus. Heloise A came up. Heloise fell to the ground and couldn't get up. Brook's cunning expression flashed in his eyes as he was pinned against his head by the claws of a Udanese dragon. Suddenly, his tail wrapped around one of Udanese dragon legs behind him, and he pulled hard in his face, unable to conceal the joy of victory. Udi's body was pulled slightly and then stopped. Slowly lowering his head, Udi looked at the incredulous expression in Long D. Brooks' eyes. With a smile on his lips, he slammed his head into the opponent's skull. Long D. Brook fainted and fell to the ground. The power is too weak. The speed is too slow. Like you, I can hit ten each. Woody let out a mocking voice from the elder brother towards the fallen dragon brother and dragon sister. Of course, ten is a bit exaggerated, but five can be given a try. Wu Di squinted her eyes as she watched Long Di and Long Mei grow from a newborn body of only 2.4 meters to a body length of nearly 2.6 meters, and couldn't help but sigh inwardly. Undoubtedly, it is a giant dragon. The growth in strength and physique is fast. It's just a feast, but it's not enough to distance oneself. In this battle, Udi has basically exerted all his strength, and as time goes on, if he grows up normally, the gap between Udi and the two dragon brothers and sisters will become smaller and smaller. Unfortunately, the second feast is about to begin, said Wu Di with a hint of anticipation and longing in his eyes. There are still three days left, and the cooling time for the feast will be up. The grand banquet requires a large amount of food to be eaten, and I must prepare in advance, Wu Di said. He glanced at the place where Black Dragon Lady was sleeping deep in the dragon nest, feeling a bit depressed in his heart. Since the birth of the three brothers and sisters, Black Dragon Mother has only provided food twice. The first time was a fifth-level monster swamp shark, and the second time was just a wild beast called a muscular bull. Beasts, monsters, and ferocious species. These are the three most common organisms. Among them, the strength of wild beasts is the weakest, and their nutritional value is also the weakest. A muscular bull weighing over three tons is not as nutritious as a fifth-level monster swamp magic shark weighing hundreds of pounds of flesh and blood. Three young dragons in urgent need of nutrition and growth swallowed the muscular bull, including its belt bones, in just one day. And now, it has been ten days since eating meat and muscles for the wild cattle. When will the Black Dragon Mother hunt next? Wu Di thought sorrowfully. Wu Di is not only concerned about the hunting time of Black Dragon Mother, but also about the quality of the prey she hunts. If it is still a wild beast with flesh and muscles, then Wu Di suspects that even if he takes over the whole head, it may not be enough to complete the progress of the second feast. After all, during the first feast, Udi had eaten more than half of the flesh and blood of the swamp magic shark as well as his own eggshell to complete it completely. And every demand for the feast will become more and more as Udi's strength improves. No, waiting like this is not a solution, Udi began to brainstorm. Even if we look in the right direction, in a few days, the black dragon lady will bring back a prey that is no less than the swamp magic shark, which is probably enough to complete the second feast while distributing a portion of the flesh and blood to Heloise and Brooke, 
unless Udi takes over alone. Although there is no such thing as familial affection between the evil dragons, the black dragon mother does not care about their competition for the ownership of their prey but this is thinking in a positive direction, provided that black dragon lady can bring back high dot quality prey, if not, do we have to go out and try hunting now? Udi was a bit conflicted. The outside world is quite dangerous for a young dragon. If possible, Udi wants to go out and try hunting only after reaching at least level 3 of the biological level. Biological levels 0 to 4 are all in the category of low dot level monsters. But level 3 black dragon chicks are obviously stronger than ordinary level 3 monsters. Moreover, after undergoing a feast to strengthen his body, Udi will be even stronger than ordinary black dragon chicks of the same level. Near the black dragon mother's dragon nest, powerful creatures are either hunted by the black dragon mother or taken as their dependents. Generally, there are no strong creatures above intermediate level monsters in the wild. Therefore, in Udi's plan, when its biological level is raised to level 3, it has the qualification to safely hunt near the dragon's nest. Ah, let's wait a little longer. Woody lay back beside the mud, looking bored. If it really doesn't work, just push back the time for the second feast. Anyway, it can control the opening and closing of the feast and won't be devoured by endless appetite. Of course, Wu Di actually had a last resort to not have to go out hunting and take on the risk of hunting, nor did he have to look at the face of the black dragon mother to complete the second feast in the blink of an eye, three days have passed. With Udi's gaze, the cooling time for the second feast returned to zero. The feast can start now. Udi looked around the huge nest, at Heloise, the dragon sister who was sleeping in a circle, at Brooke, the dragon brother who was sleeping with his belly turned over, and at the black dragon mother who was still sleeping soundly on the treasure deep inside the nest, it seems we still have to rely on ourselves. Udi shook his head, feeling his hungry belly, and finally made up his mind. It stood up carefully and then came to the outside of the nest. Find a remote and undiscovered corner. Looking at the damp black soil, Udi took a deep breath and silently recited the opening of the feast in his heart. Crazy hunger spread towards every cell of Udi. Wu Di bit hard on the ground and swallowed a large piece of black soil into his stomach. That's right, Udi's last resort was to eat dirt. After eating for two hours, Udi didn't know how many tons of black soil he had swallowed. Anyway, he ate it right. All the black soil swallowed by Udi transformed into special energies in a very short period of time under the feast, which is also the reason why Udi was able to swallow such a massive amount of black soil without being overwhelmed. 80% 85% 96% 99% 100% When the banquet progressed to 100%, Udi's rationality finally returned. Still in the pitch black space. Udi looked at his constantly strengthening body like a bystander. Cells divide more and become stronger, muscles become more and more resilient, and most importantly, the scales become much thicker. One day later, Udi woke up. The first time it wakes up, it feels its current body. Udi. Biological level 2-3, occupation level none. Body length 3.03 m 3.25 m, vitality. 3.64.1, current number of banquet floors. 2 floors, banquet cooldown time. 30 days, the instinctive talent of the dragon allows Udi to clearly perceive the subtle changes in his body, but the panel is clearer. The body length has increased by 22 centimeters, and the vitality has increased by 0.5. Udi murmured to himself, somewhat surprised but also somewhat disappointed. The enhancement effect of the feast has decreased. Why is this? Is it because the food at this feast is earthy? Currently available for public information asterisk the professional strength corresponding to the biological level is as follows level 0.4. Junior professionals level 5.9. Intermediate professional level 10.14. Advanced professionals level 15.19. Master Level Professionals Level 20.24 Legend, End of this Chapter 
Chapter 5 Decisions You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Decisions Udi speculates that perhaps the quality of the food consumed during the feast will affect the final improvement effect. Even the type of food can affect the aspect of improvement. Rubbing his sharp dragon pointed fingers against the black scales on his body surface, the thick and hard feedback gave Udi a strong sense of security. Compared to the improvement effect during the first feast, the improvement effect of this feast mainly focuses on the scales. Udi can feel that his scale defense has increased by at least 30%. I'll know if my guess is correct at the next feast, Udi thought silently. Wu Di stretched his strong and powerful body recklessly, feeling the abundant power flowing freely in his body. He grinned and was quite satisfied. Anyway, this feast still raised his biological level to level 3, and his strength improvement is quite significant. Turning leisurely and walking towards the depths of the nest. After walking for over a hundred meters, Booty returned to the depths of his nest. He looked at Heloise and Brooke, who were still sleeping like pigs near the quagmire, and compared themselves to their slender bodies, feeling a sense of superiority in his heart. My foolish little brothers and sisters, your big brother has become stronger again. Wu Di shifted his gaze away from Long Mei and Long Di, and turned to the deeper core of the dragon nest. There, the black dragon lady was sleeping on the treasure. The strong dragon power unconsciously spread from its body. Every time Udi wanted to rise up in his heart to confront this dragon power, he would feel a strong and suffocating sense of oppression. Black dragon mother, it's terrifying. But also, Black Dragon Mother is an adult Black Dragon. Juvenile Dragon, Juvenile Dragon, Juvenile Dragon, Juvenile Dragon, Juvenile Dragon, and Adult Dragon. From Juvenile Dragons to Adult Dragons, there is a significant difference of five growth stages. Although the Black Dragon ranks only fourth among the five colored evil dragons, an adult Black Dragon is already enough to stir up wind and rain, and dominate the weak human principality. If you know how to cultivate a reasonable army of dependents, you can even directly overthrow the weak human principality and establish your own hegemonic dragon kingdom. Taking a deep glance at the faintly visible black giant at the core of the dragon nest, Udi silently returned to the edge of the mud, crouched down, head and tail interlocked, and fell into a deep sleep. Nine days later. Black dragon lady finally woke up leisurely, swaying her massive body out of the dragon's nest. Coming outside, walking through the passage, and then jumping into the swamp, the huge figure swam rapidly and disappeared in an instant. The dragon nest established by Black Dragon Mother is located under a vast area of decaying swamp in the dark forest, with a nest depth of over a hundred meters. The front structure of the dragon nest is a wide and curved passage that is large enough to accommodate the entry and exit of the Black Dragon Mother. The winding passage is filled with marsh odor water in the front, but further back, due to the structure, the marsh odor water cannot rush in, forming a damp underground karst cave. In the middle, near the mud pool where the three little dragons were staying, there was a cave space of over a thousand square meters, with a height of seven meters. Going deeper, there is the core of the nest where Black Dragon Mother placed her own treasure. The area of the core of the nest is even larger, reaching tens of thousands of square meters, with a space height of more than ten meters. The awakening of Black Dragon Mother had already awakened the sleeping three little dragons. Has my mother finally decided to hunt? Brooklyn exclaimed happily. I hope my mother can bring back a monster. If it's a swamp shark, that would be great. Heloise opened her eyes wide and said excitedly. Udi didn't speak, just let out a sigh. According to the predation pattern of Black Dragon Mother, there was not enough food for him to complete the feast schedule when his third feast began. It seems that he can only rely on himself. Udi glanced at his current panel. Udi. Biological Level 3, Occupational Level None. Body Length 3.25 M 3.26 M, Vitality. 4.14.13, Current Number of Banquet Floors. Two floors, banquet cooldown. 21 days, 
during these nine days of dormancy, the growth and changes of the dragon's body have been minimal, with only a one centimeter increase. As for the vitality representing the overall strength of the body, it only increased by 0.03. Compared to the beginning, this improvement is not slow. However, for long-lived species like dragons, it is quite reasonable. But this is also closely related to not having enough abundant food. If Udi could devour the swamp magic shark, a mid-level monster, then his body would definitely develop much faster. There is still a big difference between being raised in poverty and being raised in wealth. After eating the food that Black Dragon Mother hunted, take a nap and go hunting. Udi made a decision. His original plan was to wait for his biological level to reach level 3 before attempting to hunt near the dragon nest and preparing for the feast. Otherwise, we can't eat dirt at every feast, can we? The taste is not only unpleasant, but when used as food for banquets, its effect is also quite satisfying. If the external environment is very dangerous, then eating dirt is eating dirt, and being a galong is not an exaggeration. However, according to Udi himself, who has been sleeping for over a month and occasionally wakes up, he carefully observes the outside world from time to time. In addition, there is absolutely no wild intermediate monsters or more powerful entities near the dragon nest, so he is confident that the area near the dragon nest is still very safe. In this situation, Udi's courage naturally increased. In fact, Udi is also quite curious about the outside world. For more than 40 days since its birth, Udi's footsteps still remain within the range of the dragon nest. If it weren't for the dragon being able to spend time in a deep sleep, Udi would definitely be bored to death. Half an hour later. A huge commotion came from the swampy waters outside the dragon nest passage. Under the eager gaze of the three little dragons, the huge figure of Black Dragon Mother emerged from the swamp and entered the passage into the nest. A large amount of swamp odorous water flowed along the rough black and gray scales of Black Dragon Mother on the damp black soil. The attention of the three little dragons all turned to the prey held by the Black Dragon Mother's claws. The thick and long body is ten meters long, with palm-sized black scales densely covering its body, similar to that of a black dragon. This is an adult swamp black water python, a level 6 monster, a more difficult and dangerous intermediate monster than the swamp magic shark. At the moment of seeing the swamp black water python, the knowledge from the inheritance of the dragon automatically came to mind in the minds of the three little dragons. The knowledge contained in the inheritance of the dragon is extremely vast, and it is impossible for the dragons to obtain all the knowledge in one breath which will undoubtedly explode their minds. The inheritance of the dragon often requires observation and reflection to bring corresponding knowledge to the dragon's mind. Of course, in order to protect weak young dragons, some overly advanced knowledge must be limited to the corresponding growth stage before it can be actively activated. End of this chapter Chapter 6 How Kind You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 How Kind, Blackwater Python It's a swamp blackwater python. Heloise and Brooke's dragon eyes shone brightly, and their mouths even involuntarily dripped with saliva, eager to pounce directly on Black Dragon Mother and start nibbling. They are really hungry. If Black Dragon Lady goes out hunting for a few more nights, these two little ones may also start eating dirt to make a living. Humph. Black Dragon Mother snorted coldly and looked at the two big-headed young dragons rushing forward with great dissatisfaction. Heloise and Brookton recovered from their ecstatic mood and lowered their heads somewhat timidly. Yenuo J.P.G. Liana looked down at the three little dragons she had given birth to, and looked at Heloise and Brook with disdain. As her gaze fell on Udi, a hint of strangeness flashed in her eyes. What a strong young dragon! This is only about forty days, isn't it? This physique is not inferior to that of a red dragon chick. It can only be said that it is truly the offspring born to my dark queen, Liana. Liana's gaze towards Udi added a hint of satisfaction. 
With a loud bang, the thick, long, and huge body of the swamp black water python fell directly in front of Udi. Subsequently, Liana gathered up the dragon wings, wagged her tail, and lazily walked towards the depths of the nest. She was already full outside. This time on a hunting trip, I was quite lucky to encounter two adult swamp black water pythons, one male and one female. Liana alone ate the stronger male python and then left the female python to bring back. Woody Sanlong should feel fortunate. After all, although Black Dragon Mother's strength is extremely strong, she is capable of easily killing intermediate monsters such as Swamp Magic Shark and Swamp Black Water Python. But monsters at or above the intermediate level are extremely cunning, and their intelligence and abilities are not much inferior to ordinary humans. Even an adult black dragon cannot easily hunt prey of this level, let alone two at a time. The figure of black dragon mother disappeared at the entrance of the nest passage, leaving three little dragons looking at each other. The atmosphere gradually became tense. Woody ignored the fierce gaze of his younger brothers and sisters, and leisurely took two steps forward. One dragon claw forcefully inserted into the wound of the swamp black water python, and then forcefully tore off a piece of scaled flesh weighing dozens of kilograms and put it in his mouth. Chewing it twice, Woody's longan suddenly lit up. Delicious. Jean Dao. Full and bouncy meat. The flesh and blood that are constantly washed away by magic contain extremely rich energy. Superior delicious. If this swamp black water python is used to complete the third feast that will arrive in 21 days, it is estimated to bring huge improvement to Udi. 21 days. While eating, Woody pondered the possibility of monopolizing this black python alone. While Udi was thinking, two black figures the size of a horse dog quietly came behind him, one on the left and the other on the right, with malicious eyes in their eyes. Roar. At a certain moment, feeling that Woody had relaxed his guard, Brooke and Heloise launched an attack simultaneously. Two figures approached Udi at a speed even faster than a cheetah, and their claws and hammers were about to attack him in the next moment, giving him a heavy blow. Bang! Pop! Two consecutive sounds sounded at the entrance of the nest passage. Accompanied by a crisp sound were black shadows flying backwards from both ends. Wu Di slowly lowered his clenched left fist, and the thick and long dragon tail swaying on his buttocks also slowly fell to the ground without moving. Then he continued to leisurely devour the Q.Bullet flesh and blood. I didn't even glance at Brooke and Heloise who were groaning on the ground. I really don't have a long memory. Eating flesh and blood rich in energy, Woody was also feeling emotional in her heart. However, Woody also understands. The Evil Dragon If it is easy to have a long memory and learn from it, then the reputation will not be so bad. Long Di and Long Mei, who were once again taught a lesson by their elder brother, were so aggrieved that they were almost crying. I haven't had a good day since I was born. The two little dragons could only swallow the pain in their hearts while drooling and eagerly looking at the body of the black water python. The swamp black water python is not small in size, and this bastard Woody will definitely not be able to finish it. But the most nutritious part of the essence will certainly be eaten by Udi. The reason why the two little dragons teamed up to attack Udi is also because they want to compete for the most delicious and nutritious part of their flesh, which is very beneficial for their growth. Heloise and Brooke were just watching Woody eat from a distance. Woody first ate up the blood and meat in the snake's belly, then ate its internal organs, and finally sucked up the snake's brain like bean curd. After eating all the most essence and nutrition parts of the swamp black water python, he gave a full belch of satisfaction. Udi glanced at the drooling dragon brother and sister who were huddled in the corner, eagerly watching him eat, and then glanced at the remaining flesh and blood of the black water python, sighing. Forget it, who calls him big brother. Although there is almost no familial bond between dragons, Udi was a human in his previous life, so it is obvious that he cannot do the kind of routine operation that is common for true dragons. 
Wu Di can be certain that even if she takes over the entire swamp Black Water Python, Black Dragon Mother will not have any objections. As a top dot level magical creature, the giant dragon at the top of the food chain pyramid follows the rule of the jungle for growth. As long as they don't kill each other or die, Black Dragon Mother often won't care. Not only does the Black Dragon Mother not care, but the other evil dragons, even the blue dragons who like to establish family social relationships, do not care about such small matters. Of course, the most important thing is that the remaining flesh and blood of the swamp black water python clearly cannot meet the schedule of Udi's third feast. Plus, he's already full. Wu Di left a figure for Long Di and Long Mei, calmly walking towards the depths of the dragon's nest, crawling down by the mud, closing his eyes, and falling into a deep sleep. After eating a nutritious meal, entering a deep sleep and digestion can promote physical development and growth faster. And when Udi wakes up it's when he decides to go hunting. After Udi left the passage, Heloise and Brooke rushed straight to the body of the black water python in a hungry dragon pouncing posture, without fighting or fighting. Instead, they greedily bit and swallowed pieces of flesh and blood into their stomachs. They are afraid that fighting and fighting may cause Wu Di to be dissatisfied, and they may even be scolded. The most important thing is that both young dragons just saw from Wu Di's eyes that they wanted to take over the black water python. Although for some unknown reason they didn't make up their minds in the end, Heloise and Brooke were afraid that brother Wu Di would suddenly change his mind, so they were both using their strength to eat meat. What goes into the stomach is what belongs to oneself. However, Woody's strength has improved a lot and he eats a lot. If there are no monsters in the food his mother hunts in the future, what should we do? The two young dragons ate while feeling a faint worry in their hearts. They are not as powerful as Udi and dare to have the idea of hunting outside. Black dragon chicks often only venture out of their nests for hunting six months after birth. Moreover, at this stage, the black dragon chicks also find it difficult to capture prey that can satisfy their diet, and they have to rely on the prey hunted by the black dragon mother to supplement it. Currently available for public information asterisk swamp black water python. Adult creatures reach level 6 and generally have a body length between 9 and 11 meters. They can awaken similar spell abilities such as water flow control and water arrows likes to survive in areas such as water and swamps. Every spring, male swamp black water pythons actively seek female swamp black water pythons for mating. After mating and going their separate ways, they are powerful solitary monsters. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Chapter 7 8 Black Dragon Electric Fan, Chapter 4K You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Chapter 7 8 Black Dragon Electric Fan, Chapter 4K, When Udi woke up again, seven days had already passed. As soon as she woke up, Udi looked at her current panel. Udi. Biological Level 3, Occupational Level None. Body Length 3.26 M 3.29 M, Vitality. 4.134.20, Current Number of Banquet Floors. Two floors, banquet cooldown. Fourteen days, the body length has increased by three centimeters. The vitality has increased by 0.07. The improvement is too little. Udi moved his body and let out a breath. In fact, this improvement is already quite significant. Udi's biological level has reached level three, while the average black dragon chick can only reach the threshold of level 3 when they are 2 to 2 and a half years old. The strong foundation of physical fitness will naturally make it increasingly difficult and scarce to improve. In the final analysis, it is also because the swamp black water python is only a level 6 demon, and among the intermediate demons, it is only a middle and lower level, and some of the flesh and blood essence cannot bring woody great improvement. And dragons are long-lived magical creatures, and the units of strength improvement are measured in years. Udi glanced at the opening time of a feast. Fourteen days. It's time to start my first hunting. Udi had already made a decision. 
He glanced at the black dragon mother sleeping soundly deep in the nest, as well as the dragon brother and dragon sister sleeping on the edge of the mud. Then, without any lingering attachment, he walked towards the nest passage and set off towards the outside world. After Udi left, Heloise, the dragon sister who had just been sleeping, quietly opened her eyes and looked at Udi's disappearing figure with a suspicious expression on her face. Where is Udi going? Are you going out outside? Heloise was immediately startled by her own speculation. You should know that they have only been born for over a month now, which is the weakest time. At this time, when going out, there is no need to encounter strong monsters. As long as they encounter a few low dot level monsters, they may be killed. Even the lowest level monsters like Goblin, if dozens of them come to fight, it is a deadly threat to the fledgling dragons who cannot fly yet. To verify her guess, Heloise quietly followed behind Udi at the entrance of the cave connecting the cave passage to the decaying swamp's dragon nest, a pitch black figure appeared. It's Udi. He observed from left to right with a wary expression, then without hesitation, jumped directly into the swamp, his wings folded behind and pressed against his back, his limbs moving together, swimming towards the surface of the decaying swamp. Just five or six seconds after Udi left, Heloise's brain bag popped out at the channel connection, and she was shocked to see Udi disappear from afar. Is Woody really not afraid of death? Heloise was stunned by Woody's brave behavior. Woody was born a few days earlier than them, and although he is slightly larger in size, his strength is slightly stronger than them. He is much stronger than the two of them. But. This still cannot conceal that Udi is just a baby dragon born just over a month ago. Even the most powerful red dragon dare not step out of its nest when it is only over a month old. Heloise looked pitifully at the disappearing figure of Udi, and with a joyful mood, turned around and returned to the nest, continuing to sleep. Since Udi is going out to die, then Heloise won't be able to be happy in time. In this case, in the future, she only needs to compete with Brooke for the prey brought back by her mother. For dragons, this concept is perfectly normal. Dragons are not humans, they believe in the naked law of survival. At the edge of the decaying swamp, black brown trees with strange shapes were blown up by the gentle night breeze, producing a soft clattering sound. A black panther beast leaped cautiously onto a tree, its green pupils fixed on the dense jungle below. Soon, the dark green pupils of the black panther showed a hint of excitement. In the dense jungle, a plump gray rabbit poked its head and then bounced to a fresh grassland, starting to lower its head and eat. While eating, the gray rabbit's ears were also alert and erect. It can be foreseen that once an enemy is detected, the gray rabbit will definitely flee into a nearby cave without hesitation. Silently, the slender black panther jumped onto the tree above the gray rabbit's head, and with the sound of the wind, the faint movements were also obscured. The next moment, the black panther transformed into a black lightning bolt, instantly killing the gray rabbit on the grass, with sharp and sharp teeth piercing deeply into its neck. During the bite, the gray rabbit's neck was directly bitten off, while the already dead gray rabbit's body was still convulsing. After a successful hunt, the black panther's tense nerves instantly relaxed, and then prepared to eat the hunted gray rabbit on the spot. In the dense jungle less than ten meters away from the black panther, Udi perfectly hid inside, staring closely at the panther preparing to eat. His footsteps moved slowly. Nine meters, eight meters, seven meters. Udi stopped. If it's any closer, with the sharp reaction of a black panther, it's easy to startle the snake. And at this distance, Udi is confident that even if the black panther reacts quickly, he can still kill it. Just as the black panther lowered its head and bit the gray rabbit, Udi moved. A agile black shadow swept out of the jungle and approached the black panther at a terrifying speed. When the black panther felt the danger, Udi had already slapped it hard on the head with a claw, and the powerful force directly shattered the brain of this robust black panther, which was over three meters long. The black panther only had time to let out a mournful cry, and its body had already flown several meters away. 
its body convulsed a few times before turning into a warm corpse. The battle is over. Udi walked up to the body of the Black Panther, looked at his masterpiece, and nodded in satisfaction. Although the body length of this Black Panther beast is slightly shorter than that of Udi, its overall body size is much larger than that of Udi. This is because of the structure of the dragon's body. The neck, including the head, body, and tail of the giant dragon each account for about 1.3. So, although Udi is now 3.3 meters long, the deterrent power of the dragon's body is not as impactful as that of the 3 meter long Black Panther. Grasping the neck of the Black Panther with his front paws, Udi arrived at the edge of the decaying swamp and jumped down with the body of the Black Panther. After swimming in the swamp for a while, Udi saw from a distance where the entrance of the dragon's nest was located. Diving dozens of meters, entering the dragon nest passage. Upon hearing the commotion coming from the passage and smelling the familiar scent, Heloise and Brooke were startled to wake up and looked over. Then I saw Udi walking towards them from the outside passage, holding a huge black panther corpse in his mouth. Brooke stared blankly at Brother Woody, while Heloise pouted in disappointment. Yudi, have you gone hunting? Brooke asked, staring at the dragon's eye in disbelief. This courage is too great. Wu Di threw the body of the black panther at the edge of the mud, lazily glanced at his dragon brother and sister, and snorted lightly, showing disdain. Isn't it just going out hunting? As for being so surprised. My foolish Ududu. However, Udi noticed that Heloise was not surprised, which surprised him a bit. This guy didn't just see him go out, did he? After pondering for a while, Udi no longer cared about the two little dragons. He walked to the body of the Black Panther, opened its mouth, brewed for a while, and then spewed out a cone-shaped acid. The acid stained the body of the Black Panther and immediately made a sizzling sound. Soon, the body of the Black Panther was corroded to a state of disrepair. Immediately after, Udi threw the prepared Sour Panther into the mud. The acid breath of Black Dragon not only has a huge killing effect, but also has a preservation effect on the corpse. Normally, the body of a wild beast will smell and begin to rot in one or two days, but after being sprayed with Black Dragon acid, this time will be much longer, and ten and a half days are enough fresh. At the same time, the various elements and nutrients of the body will also flow much slower. It is precisely the freshness-preserving effect of black dragon acid breath that enables Udi to have the confidence to hunt enough prey with his current strength to complete the third feast. After completing this series of operations, Udi turned around and looked at his dragon brother and sister, warning them, I hunted this prey, don't have any ideas. Under the authority of his elder brother, Dragon Fist, Brooke and Heloise nodded obediently, indicating that they would not peep at his prey. Woody nodded and looked very reassuring on the surface, but deep down he sneered a few times. Does he believe it? If a dragon could really be so obedient and obedient, it wouldn't be called a dragon. However, in order to ensure the safety of the prey hunted in the future, Woody plans to do so once and for all. Use this Black Panther Beast corpse as bait, and after Brooke and Heloise take action, teach them a hard lesson. Udi made up his mind that if his dragon brother and sister really had thoughts about his prey, he would never show mercy. I will definitely give them two impressive lessons. That's good, I still need to go out and continue hunting now, Udi said calmly, then turned around and left without looking at the expressions of the two little dragons. Brooke and Heloise, who were not yet aware of their elder brother's thoughts, immediately exchanged a glance and then gave a tacit chuckle when they saw Woody leave happily. Woody is too foolish to think we are the kind of idiots like Silver Dragon who abide by contracts. Heloise sneered. Brooke nodded along, feeling a bit impatient. Stop talking, let's quickly catch that Black Panther. With the joint efforts of two little dragons, the body of the Black Panther, which had just sunk into the mud, was thrown out. With a loud bang, the body of a Black Panther weighing several hundred kilograms fell to the ground. Brooke and Heloise rudely tore off the two sturdy hind legs of the Black Panther corpse, and then chewed on them with great pleasure. 
The delicious taste of flesh and blood exploded in the mouths of the two little dragons, and Brooke and Heloise immediately showed a satisfied expression. The taste of this black panther beast is really bad, it can't even compare to the meat and muscles of a wild cow. Booty is also useless, said Heloise with bulging cheeks as she quickly chewed on the black panther's flesh and blood. Brooke nodded and said a fair sentence, the strength of the muscle and meat bull is equivalent to that of a level 3 monster. How could Udi possibly defeat it? However, Udi's strength is also very strong. This black panther is not small in size, and in fact, its strength should barely have the strength of a level 1 monster. Brooke and Heloise, who have only been born for over a month, are only at level 1 in terms of biological level at this time. However, compared to ordinary monsters and beasts at the same level, dragons are definitely more powerful than dragons. Although we are stronger than this black panther beast, it is difficult for us to hunt and kill it, Brooke swallowed the flesh and blood in his mouth and said again. In terms of hard power, Brooke and Heloise are much stronger than this black panther, but the black panther is an extremely sensitive beast with an explosive speed of over 40 meters per second and a duration of over 3 minutes. Once startled, Brooke and Heloise could only watch the Black Panther escape helplessly. Heloise snorted but didn't say anything to refute. Although she is as arrogant as all the dragons, she also knows that Udi's strength is indeed very strong. This guy probably won't be much worse than the Red Dragon in his age group. Don't worry, eat slowly. It's not good to choke later. Brooke, what are you talking about? If you eat slowly, what if Woody comes back later? Heloise instinctively retorted. Then, she quickly noticed that Brooke in front of her was swallowing saliva, looking behind her with a frightened expression. Heloise realized something and nervously turned her head to see Woody, who had shown her a kind smile. Woo, with a loud bang, a rising dragon punch hit Heloise's chin, sending her flying five or six meters away heavily. Brooke looked at Heloise, who had been knocked unconscious by a punch, and then looked at the shattered dragon scales and some dragon blood on Udi's dragon claw fist. He couldn't help but take a few steps back. Udi, don't come over. Don't come over. Wu Di grimaced and spat fiercely, your horse, you ate my leopard and still told me this. Without waiting for Brooke to give an explanation, Woody directly hit the crow on the plane and pressed it under him, then fiercely arched its head from left to right. Blood and shattered dragon scales splattered everywhere, proving the weight of Udi's attack. However, with just over ten punches, Brooke was knocked unconscious. But just be unconscious. Udi said that this kind of injury is too mild for the dragon. He got up from Brooke and walked over to Heloise, who had been knocked unconscious by his dragon rising fist, holding her fat short dragon tail. Brooke, who had fainted again, also mentioned its fat short dragon tail. Taking a deep breath, Woody's dragon face showed a hint of eagerness to try as he looked at the dragon brothers and sisters whose left and right claws were lifted upside down. At the next moment, the two little dragons transformed directly into big windmills. Super invincible whirlwind hand cranked electric fan. Woody shouted loudly, using all his strength to swing the two dragons up. Due to their body size, Heloise and Brooke's skulls collide heavily with the ground every time they rotate. After several collisions, Heloise and Brooke, who had previously fainted, were suddenly awakened by the pain. After seeing their own situation clearly, Heloise and Brooke both became numb and quickly begged for mercy from Woody. If begging for mercy is useful, do we still need violence? Ah! Woody snorted coldly his thick hind paws gripping the ground without moving, continuing to rotate the two black dragon version electric fans in his hand. At this moment, Woody's heart is like an iron stone. After eating my leopard, whoever you are will have to pay a price. End of this chapter Chapter 8, Chapter 9, Chapter 10 Terrifying, Chapter 4K You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Chapter 9, Chapter 10 Terrifying, Chapter 4K, 
after ten minutes of hand cranking the electric fan, Udi finally threw the two tormented dragons in his hands onto the ground. Within these ten minutes, Heloise and Brooke fainted and woke up again. Not long after waking up, they fainted again, repeatedly at least dozens of times. Even the flesh and blood of the black leopard that had just been eaten in his stomach were forcefully thrown out. Wu Di walked up to Long Di and Long Mei, lowered his head, and looked at the two little dragons who were bleeding and suffering from head injuries. He slowly said, Do you dare to peek at your big brother's prey? Ha! Huh. The two little dragons, whose consciousness was almost blurry, slowed down for more than ten seconds before nodding their heads in difficulty, I dare not, I dare not. Times two, humph, if you dare not, it's good. If my prey is eaten by you again next time, then it won't be so easy, Wu Di pretended to be fierce. Heloise and Brooke, who were gradually becoming more rational, looked at the fierce Yudi with a hint of fear in their eyes. My own big brother, how terrifying. Even worse than a dragon. The two young dragons quickly nodded, their heads lying on the ground, in a submissive manner. After this lesson, Heloise and Brooke, the two dragons, would rather eat dirt than probably dare to peep at Udi's prey again. Seeing the fear in Long's younger brother and sister's eyes, Wu Di finally nodded with satisfaction. It seems that this lesson has left a deep impression, and now there are finally no worries to worry about. He no longer looked at his miserable dragon brother and sister, turned around, and walked out of the nest with the sound of big steps. After more than ten minutes of Eddie's departure, Heloise and Brooke, lying on the ground, finally regained their senses and struggled to get up from the ground. The two little dragons silently exchanged a glance and then looked at the dead black panther on the ground with two missing hind legs. Step forward. The dragon's claws extended towards the body of the black panther. Then silently throw the body of the black panther into the mud after finishing this task, the two little dragons sat by the mud for a while in a daze, but in the end, they didn't know who started it, so they just started nibbling on the soil on the spot eating soil not only has a slightly poor nutritional value and an unpleasant taste, but it is actually better for the development of dragon scales and bones than eating ordinary flesh and blood. It can make the dragon scales thicker and harder, and make the skeleton thicker and stronger. Of course, this requires years and months of eating soil to have a significant effect. There is also a way to see the effect in a short period of time. For example, eating metal minerals, high dot end magic metals, and eating them with an open stomach for a few months will definitely lead to a significant improvement in physical fitness. But this is just a dream. How could two black dragon chicks with only one level of biological level have the ability to achieve something that even Udi at this moment lacks? Since the Xuanlong electric fan incident, Wu Di has been coming out late and returning early every day, using acid to exhale and preserve his hunted prey, sinking it into the mud and accumulating food reserves for the third feast. During this period, Long Mei Heloise and Long Di Brook were obediently eating dirt, which made Udi feel very good. It's another dark and windy night. A black shadow flashed through the dense jungle. On the forest clearing, a sturdy wind wolf with an injured leg let out a low roar towards the dense jungle around it, looking fearful. This nearby wind wolf monster is facing an unprecedented crisis at this moment. A black dragon chick stared at it and with just a sneak attack, it tore off a large piece of skin and flesh from its hind legs, revealing its dense white bones. Then, like an experienced hunter, it patiently hid in the dense jungle waiting for its stamina to pass. The wind wolf is very familiar with this method because it is how it deals with its prey. So, it felt the fear. Abandon defense and run at all costs. That black dragon chick is sure to emerge rapidly and give it a fatal blow. Stay vigilant all around. If the wound bleeds, the stamina will quickly dissipate, and in the end, it will be even more difficult to escape death. The wind wolf paced anxiously around, his pale blue wind element frozen in his mouth and unable to disperse, constantly unleashing a powerful blow. It was precisely because of this trump card that the black dragon chick felt intimidated and did not directly rush out to kill it. Udi, 
who was secretly restraining his breath, stared coldly at the wind wolf demon and licked the blood at the corner of his mouth. This blood comes from the wind wolf itself and tastes very good. Kill this wind wolf, the progress of the third feast must be enough, Booty thought excitedly in his heart. Adult wind wolf is a level 3 monster with considerable strength. Its innate spell, wind blade, has a killing power that is enough to cut through a tree as thick as a human waist. Although Udi did not believe that the wind blade emitted by this adult wind wolf demon could kill him, after all, his body had undergone two feasts of enhancement, and the main direction of the second feast was still dragon scales. In addition, the dragon scales themselves have strong spell resistance, even if they are just a young dragon, their dragon scales also have a certain degree of spell resistance and are very popular among middle and low dot level mages. However, even with heavy security, Booty doesn't want to eat the wind blade emitted by an adult wind wolf demon on the brink of death. After a moment of stalemate, the rationality of this wind wolf finally erupted with the passing of its stamina. With a low roar of tyranny, his bright red eyes scanned the surroundings. The sturdy wolf's body leaped to seven or eight Zhang, and several figures disappeared into the dense forest. Do you want to escape? Wu Di, who was hiding in the surrounding dense forest, sneered and no longer covered his figure. The agile dragon's body, which was over three meters long, instantly transformed into a remnant and chased up. Ten seconds later, the wind wolf, who was frantically fleeing in the dense forest, felt the powerful aura firmly locked behind him, and a hint of determination flashed in his eyes. The sturdy wolf's body, which was over three meters long, leaped, and its two thick front legs vigorously kicked on a large tree. With the help of the force, it quickly rushed towards the young dragon attacking from behind in the opposite direction, and the wind blades in its mouth condensed and the wolf claws launched an attack simultaneously. Wu Di became a little more serious when he saw the situation, his gaze fixed on the light green wind blade that was half a meter long and thin like cicada wings. As for the incoming wolf claws, he chose to ignore it directly. This is confidence in one's own dragon scale defense. In the next moment, the wind blade struck, and Wu Dai Can, who had been highly concentrated in his mental strength, dodged. A thick and sturdy tree about half a meter thick not far behind him was attacked by the wind blade, instantly cutting a huge gap. The power of this wind blade requires even a few centimeters thick steel to be cut alive. And evading the attack of the wind blade, the wind wolf also approached, and its thick wolf claws ejected sharp claws, fiercely grabbing at Udi's eyeballs. So in. Woody's eyes shrank, his reaction speed was extremely fast, his neck tilted, and he replaced the affected area with the dragon's jaw. With a piercing sound. As piercing as a clash of gold and iron. Udi's dragon's jaw suddenly erupted with a burst of friction flames. Three small cracks mixed with bloodstains appeared on the seven or eight scales on the chin of Eudosaurus. Defensive. Udi raised two sharp dragon fingers and fiercely inserted them into the eyes of the close-up wind wolf. The sharp dragon fingers were like two metal pencils, completely submerged in the eyes of the wind wolf and piercing through the brain. Flash sail. The wind wolf, who had suffered such fatal injuries, stiffened slightly in its massive body, then relaxed its muscles and fell heavily to the ground, transforming into a warm corpse. The battle is over. Wu Di took out two sharp dragon fingers from the wind wolf's eyes, looked at the pale white brain tissue on the dragon fingers, and didn't waste it. He put them into the dragon's mouth and took a few bites. Delicious. Udi's brain trembled and let out a moan. After regaining his composure, Udi touched the dragon's jaw that had been attacked by the wind wolf claw. Touching the slight cracks on the scales and the faint dragon blood, Woody sighed in her heart. Is this the taste of being injured? That's right, over the past ten days, Wu Di, who comes out late and returns early every day, has not suffered any injuries yet. Of course, it's not that Udi's strength is already strong enough to ignore so many monsters in the dark forest. But it was Udi who remained cautious and did not step out of the territory of Black Dragon Mother. 
Within the territory of Black Dragon Mother, the recently deceased level 3 demon Wind Wolf at the feet of Wu Di is already one of the most powerful wild monsters. Footsteps echoed again at the Dragon Nest Passage. Heloise and Brooke, who were eating dirt, habitually turned their brain bags around. Then I saw Udi dragging a giant wolf with light green fur all over. After recognizing the identity of the giant wolf, the expressions of the two little dragons, Heloise and Brooke, gradually froze. Adult Wind Wolf, Level 3 Demon. A presence capable of easily slaughtering them. How could Udi possibly hunt such a level of demon? For the past decade or so, Heloise and Brooke were able to see Woody dragging back some prey from outside the dragon nest every day. The weaker ones are just some strong beasts, while the stronger ones also have first and second level monsters. But these are still within the tolerance of Heloise and Brooke. After all, Woody can easily defeat them, so having the power to hunt second level monsters is not an exaggeration. But hunting third level monsters is too outrageous, isn't it? Hey! Why are you the only one with such exaggerated strength when everyone is just a newborn baby dragon? After being shocked, the awe in the eyes of the two little dragons towards Udi grew stronger. The evil dragon has always revered the strong. Even humans who are considered ants and food by the dragons, once promoted to legendary life, can generally be recognized by the dragons. Brother Woody. Times two the younger brothers and sisters respectfully greeted the returning Wu Di. Wu Di glanced at the two little dragons, nodded slightly, and then stopped talking. He dragged the body of the wind wolf to the edge of the mud, lay down, and began to rest with his eyes closed. After an hour, Woody, who had rested well, opened his eyes. He rubbed his injured dragon chin with his rough dragon finger, and without any surprise, the dragon scales had recovered, leaving only three faint white marks. At this level of resilience, it is not much worse than a black dragon cub aged five or six. At this moment, Udi has only been born two months at most. Udi looked at his current panel. Udi. Biological level 3, occupational level none. Body length 3.29 m 3.31 m, vitality. 4.24.24, current number of banquet floors. Two floors, banquet cooldown time. Can be activated, in 14 days, my body length increased by 2 centimeters. The vitality has increased by 0.04. During these 14 days, Black Dragon Mother did not provide any food, and Wu Di usually only ate some ordinary wild beasts to fill his stomach. After all, the high dot quality prey he hunted was stored as reserve food for the feast. This is the speed at which ordinary young dragons grow, Wu Di sighed. Except for the first month of birth, the growth of the young dragon will be much faster, and the following will need to be measured in years. But I can cheat. Woody grinned. Get up, wake up the dragon brothers and sisters who sleep after finishing the dirt, and give them a task, Heloise and Brooke, both of you, have salvaged Big Brother's reserve grain, said Woody without hesitation. Under the authority of their elder brother, the two little dragons dared not resist and started working tirelessly. Two little dragons stood by the mud puddle, and Brooke jumped into it with a thud. In no time, a python corpse corroded by acid was salvaged by Brooke. Haluosi couldn't help but drool as she looked at the dragon mouth corner of the python corpse. However, she quickly regained consciousness and the dragon claw exerted force, lifting the python corpse from the mud and throwing it to the ground. This prey is the personal property of Brother Woody, she cannot peep at it. For a moment, the two little dragons cooperated sincerely, and soon a mountain of corpses several meters high was piled up on the ground. Python, flame rabbit, black panther, dog wolf, Swamp fat head fish all kinds of prey are diverse and diverse. Watching this scene from the side, Booty felt a sense of accomplishment in his heart. This is the food he saved after hunting hard for almost half a month. Hunting is really tiring. In the future, I must have a group of relatives specifically to find food for me, Woody thought to himself. 
Otherwise, according to his increasingly strong appetite and strength, he will eat more and more. From now on, he will either be searching for food or fighting. This is not the life he wants. As Udi pondered how to live his life in the future, with the cooperation of Heloise and Brooke, all the prey that sank into the mud was salvaged. The volume alone is ten times more than two small dragons combined. All right, you guys step back, big brother is going to eat. Wu Di waved his hand casually, and the two little dragons obediently stepped aside. Then, while drooling, he watched eagerly as big brother Woody tore and devoured flesh and blood. Gulugugu, I'm so hungry. I really want to eat. Heloise and Brooke stared eagerly at big brother Woody, tearing and devouring flesh and blood. Hunger and temptation almost make them lose their rationality. But when the two little dragons couldn't bear it anymore, the profound memories of the past would come to their minds. No, if we eat it, Big Brother Woody will kill us. Heloise and Brooke's eyes instantly regained clarity. They looked at Brother Woody, who had already begun a feast and was crazily devouring the flesh and blood of beasts and monsters, and felt a sense of fear in their hearts. The current Big Brother Woody is so scary the two little dragons suspected that if they dared to come forward and provoke at this moment, they might even be eaten by the crazy Woody. End of this chapter Chapter 9 The Future, Follow Up You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 The Future, Follow Up When opening a feast, Udi's state does indeed make the dragon feel fearful. Like a bottomless pit, the stomach sack crazily devours all the flesh and blood that can be seen in front of it. The corpses piled up like small mountains are rapidly decreasing quickly, only three or two prey corpses remained on the ground, and all the other prey corpses were swallowed up completely. The banquet progress has reached 100% with the appearance of the font, Goody's rationality finally returned to reality. He entered the pitch black space for the third time. In the pitch black space, he watched the rapid changes in his body as an observer. Scales, muscles, bones, viscera, blood, cells, and so on, are crazily enhancing and strengthening. A day has passed for the outside world. Woody, lying on the ground, slowly opened his eyes. Across from them, Heloise and Brooke, who had been trembling and sleepless, met Udi's eyes at the same time. At this moment, they seemed to be targeted by a higher level creature. My whole body trembled with scales, and my heart was filled with fear. Fortunately, this aura only flashed by, and Heloise and Brooke breathed a sigh of relief, panting heavily and looking at their big brother with a fearful expression. Woody didn't look at his weak chicken like dragon brother and sister, he immediately looked at the panel. Woody. Biological level 3, occupational level none. Body length 3.31 m 3.63 m, vitality. 4.244.92, current number of banquet floors. 3 floors, banquet cooldown time. 30 days, the body length has reached over 3.6 meters, an increase of 32 centimeters compared to before the feast. The vitality has increased by 0.68, and now Udi's vitality is almost breaking through to 5. Udi cannot specify which level this level is in. After all, the attribute of vitality was not introduced in the inheritance of the dragon. But anyway, Udi is very strong now. Before the third feast began, Udi could easily hunt down the third level demon wind wolf, but now. Udi thinks he can touch a level 4 monster. Even if his biological level has not yet reached level 4. My appearance has changed quite a bit. Udi twisted his muscular short and thick neck, a pair of dragon wings with a larger wingspan behind him, and even thicker and more powerful limbs. If the body ratio of an ordinary giant dragon is 1.1.1, it belongs to the category of slender bodies. Now, as Udi's slender neck shortens, the proportion of his body becomes larger and larger. The visual sensation caused by this is that, under the same body length, Udi is more oppressive than ordinary dragons and has a much larger volume. 
After reviewing the changes in her body, Woody, feeling quite happy, glanced at Heloise and Brooke who were huddled next to her. Glancing at the few prey on the ground that had not yet been eaten. These prey will be rewarded to you and you will continue to be obedient during this period. Reward us. Really. Heloise and Brooke couldn't help but doubt when they heard Woody say these words, and hesitated as they repeated their inquiry. Woody looked at Long Dee and Long Mei, who had been successfully trained by him, with a contented expression in his heart, and smiled kindly, of course, good children naturally need to be rewarded. Heloise and Brooke looked strange. Why did this sound so strange? However, there was flesh and blood food to eat, and the two little dragons, who had been eating dirt for half a month, didn't care about it anymore. They rushed to the prey with a fierce roar, tearing and swallowing the flesh and blood in big bites. As they ate, tears of emotion flowed from the corners of their mouths. Brother Woody is really a good dragon. Woody on the side naturally didn't know how moved her younger brother and sister were. He just looked at his own brother and sister, who were too thin and weak, standing with them, just like two children standing in front of their adults. At least he is also his younger brother and sister from Wu Di. He must not be too weak, otherwise he will lose face. Moreover, Wu Di also has his own ideas. For most dragons, they usually raise their offspring until the juvenile dragon stage before they are driven out of their nest to survive on their own. But some more indifferent and ruthless dragons will directly drive young dragons who have just passed their hatching stage out of their nests. The latter is also the lowest constraint of the five-colored dragon mother on the five-colored evil dragon. At least, she must raise her own offspring to the stage of young dragons before they can be expelled from the nest. Udi doesn't know if the black dragon mother who gave birth to him is the former or the latter, but if his growth rate continues like this, he estimates that he may not even need to reach the juvenile stage to be driven out of the dragon nest by the black dragon mother who feels threatened due to being too strong. And this is a very likely thing to happen. Now that Udi's feast has only stacked three layers, he is confident that he can fight against level four monsters. According to the monthly stacking of one layer of feast, there is no need to increase it. After stacking about 10 or 20 layers, his body size will also increase. It is estimated that Black Dragon Lady will find him very displeased. So, Udi needs to consider his future. Well, preliminary plan, he plans to kidnap his younger brother and sister in the future. Although Heloise and Brooke may seem weak under Udi's leadership, their strength will grow in a few years. And as time goes by, the strength can also continuously grow and become stronger. As long as the training is good, it is equivalent to two special relatives with extraordinary potential. Not to mention being able to fight against strong enemies with Udi, after all, Udi is a dragon. However, guarding the dragon's nest, hunting food for him, and playing a protective role during his slumber are enough. Heloise and Brooke, who were eating happily on the side, had no idea that the big brother Yudi in their eyes had already trained and treated them as future thugs. Time is slowly but firmly passing by. On the seventh day after the third feast, Black Dragon Mother, who had been sleeping in her nest for almost a month, finally remembered that she still had three children. She woke up from her slumber and leisurely went out to fight wild. After spending less than an hour eating and drinking outside, the black dragon mother returned to the dragon nest and threw her two muscular buffaloes in front of the woody three dragons. Then, swinging her thick and long tail, she walked into the deepest part of the dragon nest. Finally, lie down on the treasure and fall asleep again. Woody had some doubts in her heart. Perhaps black dragon mother didn't remember that she still had three cubs to take care of, but simply woke up when she was hungry. Anyway, the prey that Black Dragon Mother brought back this time was quite abundant. Although not a monster, the muscular bull has a huge body size and a good taste. It is also a delicious meal for the two little dragons, Heloise and Brooke. Most importantly, they can have a satisfying meal. A muscular bull weighs more than three tons, and two heads add up to six or seven tons. 
Udi also indulged in a lavish meal and indulged in prostitution. Since the end of the feast, Udi has only gone out once in seven days. I went hunting that time and found a second-level monster swamp chubby fish. Woody, a one-ton swamp chubby fish, ate most of it and then left some scraps for Heloise and Brooke to eat. That's it, the two little dragons are already overjoyed. Roar, Wu Di, who had eaten a ton and a half of beef and blood in one breath, lay on the ground squinting his eyes. According to his plan, he would wait for about ten to half a month until the feast time before going out to hunt and accumulate food reserves. For the first half of the month, he would stay in the dragon's nest and sleep, at most occasionally getting too hungry. He would go out to hunt some game to eat. After all, storing stored grain too early may not be fresh enough, and nutrients may be lost. And too late, the reserve grain may not be sufficient. Someone is watching. No one left a message or recommended tickets. Lonely and lonely, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Unfortunate Growth, Follow Up You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Unfortunate Growth, Follow Up Time slowly passes by. In the blink of an eye, nearly three months have passed. In the Dragon Nest Udi, who had just finished a feast, slowly opened his eyes and looked at the panel. Udi. Biological level 4, occupation level none. Body length 4.71 m, vitality. 7.17, current number of banquet floors. 6 floors, banquet cooldown time. 30 days, who, a powerful force surges within your body. Udi silently felt the terrifying power surging within the dragon's body, and couldn't help but grin. The smile is incredibly ferocious. The stacking and strengthening of the six-layered feast gradually distinguishes Udi's appearance from traditional black dragons. The outer skin around the black dragon horns and cheekbones of traditional black dragons gradually degenerates with age, appearing no different from a skull. This is also the main reason why black dragons are also called skeleton dragons by other organisms. And their dragon wings are not particularly broad compared to their entire body shape. This is because the flying ability of black dragons does not solely rely on dragon wings for flight. They rely on innate spell flying ability for flight, and dragon wings only assist them in flight, making them more agile and fast. Among the five colored evil dragons, only the red dragon has incredibly wide dragon wings, which are capable of supporting itself to soar in the sky completely with the powerful waving power of the dragon wings. And now Udi, at a young age, has a pair of wide black dragon wings with a wingspan of nearly 10 meters. The incredibly developed muscles at the base of the dragon wings, even without the need for spell-like flying talents, have the formidable strength to support Udi's current flight. In addition, the scales on the outer skin of Udi's cheeks were still full, not at all like the ugly skull face of the black dragon, but more like a red dragon dyed black. Plus a short and appropriately thick neck, as well as the second pair of dragon horns just protruding from the head a very handsome and domineering feeling. Anyway, Udi is very satisfied with his current image. However, the alternative appearance and abnormal growth rate have gradually made Black Dragon Lady look a bit uncomfortable at Wu Di. The most obvious behavior is that when they were born, they would deliberately throw the prey they brought back in front of Udi. But the latest time, Black Dragon Mother threw the prey she brought back at Heloise and Brooke, and even took special care of them to eat before they entered the depths of the dragon's nest and fell asleep. Obviously, Black Dragon Mother felt wary of Wu Di's abnormal growth rate. The familial bond between dragons is weak, coupled with a strong desire to control their territory and wealth, so the vast majority of dragons will not allow another threatening species to appear in their own dragon nests or even within their territory. It seems a bit off, Wu Di muttered to herself, recalling the attitude of Black Dragon Mother in recent days. However, he can't just improve his strength just because Black Dragon Lady doesn't like him, can he? The strength under one's own control is the most important and fundamental, and Udi deeply understands this truth. After thinking for a moment, Wu Di shook his head and said nonchalantly, 
forget it, let it go with the flow. Anyway, with my growth rate, I will soon have the ability to protect myself in the wild. Although it may not be as stable as it is now, at least he is confident in saving his own life. If there is really an unavoidable danger, it's no big deal to dive into the ground and hide for three to five months, directly eating soil and stacking a feast. Then, when the strength is strong enough, come out and counterattack the enemy. Although this method may be a bit humiliating, achieving victory is enough to defeat the enemy. Shaking away the many thoughts in his mind, Woody turned his gaze to Heloise and Brooke sleeping by the mud. The dragon bodies of the two little ones are still so thin and weak, less than three meters long, with little muscle all over their bodies, and a small pair of dragon wings. However, the aura on his body faintly reached level two. It indicates that these two little guys still have some improvement in their strength. The black dragon chick dragon, which has just entered the second level of biological level, although its strength is not as strong as the adult wind wolf hunted by Udi before, it has barely gained the strength to save its life under the adult wind wolf claws of the third level monster. Not bad, continue to grow. In the future, your big brother's food will depend on you. Wu Di is quite satisfied with the growth speed of his younger brother and sister. Although Udi has been complaining roast that Heloise and Brooke are thin and weak, compared with other black dragons of the same age, they are actually on the top. Perhaps it is related to Udi's occasional idle and boring time of training them. In addition, Udi sometimes feeds them some low dot level monsters with their flesh and blood. Well, perhaps there's one more reason. That's because the two little dragons can put down their pride, and whether they're hungry or not, they often eat black soil and rocks. Eating too much soil and stones, the bones and scales of the two little ones are noticeably harder than those of the same age group of black dragon chicks. Wu Dixie habitually looked towards the black dragon mother deep in the dragon nest. The shimmering luster of the gold and silver coins and gemstones made him feel a bit restless. If you swallow the treasure of Black Dragon Lady at the opening of the feast the improvement he will receive will definitely be very huge. This is an instinctive reminder. Udi analyzed this instinct briefly and found that it was the strongest when facing magic gems, even stronger than swallowing the sixth level demon Swamp Black Water Python. Next are magic armor and magic sword. Next are magic coins and silver coins. Finally, there are ordinary gold and silver coins as well as ordinary gemstones. As for the other shiny miscellaneous items, in Udi's instinctive sense, they were just slightly stronger garbage than soil and rocks. The discovery of this ability also gave Udi an unexpected joy. He felt that with this ability, he would not let his eyes slip when encountering treasures in the future. Although the dragon itself is excellent in searching for treasures. It's time to start hunting. Wu Di no longer had wild thoughts, turned around and walked towards the nest passage, his figure slowly disappearing into the dragon's nest. This time out, he is no longer just hunting to fill his stomach. The attitude of Black Dragon Mother raised a sense of crisis in his heart, and he had to prepare in advance for being kicked out of the dragon nest in the future. That is to say, find a foothold. The location where Black Dragon Mother built her nest is in the middle of the dark forest's inner and outer perimeter, where there is a decaying swamp covering an area of dozens of square kilometers. After eating and drinking, Wu Di flapped his dragon wings and landed on a giant tree over 50 meters high, looking around from a distance. In the endless black dense jungle, a huge, ugly scar sits within it. Perhaps the reason why this decaying swamp is so huge is also due to the power of the Black Dragon Mother. The biological passive, decay domain, of black dragons can transform soil into swamps, and the domain usually awakens during youth. End of this chapter